future. If we, if we think about uh, what currently is, I mean, the, the, the bioeconomy is of course of fundamental economic importance for the Nordic countries. It's a vital contributor to the sustainable development of our rural areas. Uh, look at issues such as food security, but also climate change. Uh, there's a lot of so-called newcomers, um, experience economy, uh, tourism related activities that, that we need to consider. Uh, and of course, it's, uh, we create innovative jobs in the bioeconomy and uh, so it's a vital um, uh, uh, aspect against out-migration of rural areas as well, which we should consider. So we are here in the paper province, uh, Karlstadt, uh, which is a good example for that. So you have, um, you have like an in international focus, uh, you uh, mobilize regional actors from all over Wermland uh, and you do great things together. We have, uh, in addition to the, to the bioresources, we have a very good education system all over the Nordic countries. We have high, high education, we have good university systems, also in the regions. I think what is, what is uh, very, very important also is uh, the, the, the yeah, nature or culture of collaboration uh, between people, building networks, building networks and collaborate uh, across the Nordic countries but also within regions and I think that's, uh, Wermland again is a good example here, so the paper province bringing together 100, more than 100 uh, uh, companies that, that build this, this, this wonderful collaboration. So I think that's, that's a very remarkable thing that, that, that what the Nordic regions make strong. The role of cluster organizations uh, are often to drive change, to support innovation growth in regional contexts. And I think in, uh, in the transformation to a fossil-free society, the clusters will be very important because you really need to engage people, uh, get people uh, with you, set up common targets. Uh, and uh, in that work, I think clusters really can have an important role. And also, uh, people and networks are really at the core uh, in cluster operations. Uh, the bioeconomy demands for people, the engagement of people uh, in, a, in a way that we might never have seen before. Uh, I think uh, also the local and regional levels are extremely important because of course we have the biomasses and we also have a lot of knowledge around it and we also do have the, the engagements to make the local area develop. So in that sense again clusters have an important role I think and also people and networks. I think, and I strongly believe this, that when we need to take action on these very severe challenges that we are experiencing at the moment, the local societies, the local communities, plays a vital part. What we need to be better at than we are at the moment is creating a dialogue between the global and the local. In a sense, we need the global investments to interact with the local communities. We need them to interact with local resources, local knowledge, so we get a stronger sense of the place base. One of the most essential things is to have networks of people that trust each other, and that represents both civic society, industry, academia, and also the support organizations. And also to understand that each case is unique. It comes from a special context, it addresses a special problem. So by having this network, you can configure the, the right networks for that innovative idea or challenge.